to fill objects with color in Illustrator. For instance, we'll take this rectangle tool, create a rectangle to fill that with color. We go up over to the properties, we click fill, we see the swatches, we pick a, a swatch and it fills with color. It's just like using the paint bucket tool in Photoshop. If I were to create another shape, like that, or I wanna change the color, I can click here, click on another color and it changes. I could go over to this item, click it, click the fill, it changes. Um, there's also this thing called a stroke that we can also color. I'm going to make the stroke larger like that. And I can click on the stroke and I can change its color. And I can go here, make that bigger, click on the stroke and change its color. And these, unlike in Photoshop, where it's actually somewhat difficult to change colors once you set them, in Illustrator, it's super simple to change those colors as much as you want, like that. Okay, and so those, that's adding colors to the shape tools. The same thing happens in, with the pen tool. Now, if I create just a simple straight line in Illustrator, okay, first thing you're gonna notice is the very last color that I picked is the color that I get. If you notice here, it says that the stroke is green and the fill is magenta, but we don't see a fill. The reason we don't see a fill is because this is a straight line and so it, it has no volume to it. But if I were to take this and click and drag like that, now we have volume because we, instead of just being on the X axis, we now have included a section that's on the Y axis we now have volume and it now appears to fill. You'll notice in this case that the stroke does not extend all the way around the object. That's because we haven't completed the object, but I can go over and hold the cursor, the pen tool right over the very first point I created. It says anchor. Um, I also get a little white um, circle at the bottom. And I do that, and now we get the path all the way. And the same would be true if I draw a series of curves. Like that. So, and again, if I want to change the color of this object, well, I can also reshape this object as much as I want, which is also something that's kind of difficult to do in Photoshop. I don't have to be perfect the first time out the gate with Illustrator. I can make a lot of adjustments. And then if I want to change the color again, I can go to the fill and I can change the color. I can go to the stroke. I can change the color. As much as I want, I can change the size of the stroke, make it really thin, make it really big. 
And so, And then I can use these shapes to make other things. And again, it's still all very simple to go through and change colors. and move things around however I might want to.